Reboot. What's up guys, my name is Ace, and supply drops are here in Black Ops 4. They are called reserve crates, but they're essentially the supply drops we've been used to in Call of Duty. There's been quite a bit of talk on the internet about this. I've had a ton of people asking what my opinion is of this, so today I'm going to be sharing that opinion. So first up, let's go over how this new system is working. So we did get the 100 tier contraband stream once again, where the new weapons are within this stream. So you're guaranteed to get them just through gameplay time if you play enough and you get those daily tier skips, which have not gone anywhere. I've seen a lot of people tweeting me saying that the daily tier skips are gone. They are not, they're still here. However, once you reach rank 100 within that contraband stream or tier 100, there is nothing else after that. You don't continue to earn those reserve items that will give you a random cosmetic item like we saw last season. You simply don't get anything, even though you keep leveling up through those tiers. And the crazy thing about this is you can continue to purchase tiers after this, which will literally get you nothing. You won't get any reserves. You won't get any cosmetics. Literally nothing. You're just throwing your COD points away. And the system allows you to do that. I think that's just a major oversight right there. You shouldn't be able to spend COD points and money to get literally nothing. But that's kind of a side point. The main thing here is once you reach that tier 100, you don't start earning all of those reserves just through gameplay time. And you can no longer take advantage of those daily tier skips to get you more reserves. Instead, they've implemented a new tab and a new system. When you click over to the reserves tab, you can now get what they call a reserve case just through gameplay time. And this happens as you're going through the tiers as well as after the tiers. And based on my experience so far, it takes roughly one and a half to two hours of in-game time to get one of these reserve cases. There is no daily tier skip, so you don't get one of these daily reserve cases. There's no challenges to complete. It's simply attached to time played. Now with these reserve cases, it's essentially like the reserves that we would have gotten for every tier after tier 100 in the contraband stream. The big difference though, is it takes longer to get one of these reserve cases. And like I said, once you reach tier 100, those daily tier skips don't do anything for you. Whereas in the previous season, each one of those daily tier skips would give you essentially one of these reserve cases on top of your gameplay time for the other cases. So what they've done here is they've significantly slowed down the rate at which you're able to earn items that are outside of the contraband stream and within the reserves. And in doing so, they've also implemented reserve crates, which are supply drops. With these supply drops, the only way to get them currently is through 200 COD points or about two American dollars. And they come with three randomized items. It's basically just the supply drops that we're used to in previous Call of Duty games. I should also mention that these reserve cases and these reserve crates are not duplicate protected at all. Yes, you do get a reroll after a certain number of duplicates, but they are not 100% duplicate protected. So my thoughts on this? Well, they're a little bit mixed. There is a big part of me that's just saying the only thing I care about are the new weapons that are coming in, and those are not earned through the supply drops. Those are earned through the contraband stream, so just through playtime. You can get these guns 100% guaranteed just by playing the game. That was my biggest problem with the supply drop system in Black Ops 3 is no matter how much you played, the new weapons were in randomized supply drops and therefore you were never guaranteed to get them. So a big part of me is thinking, well, at least we're guaranteed the new guns and I just treat the cosmetics as kind of that little bonus. I don't really think about cosmetics too often. Oftentimes people ask me why I don't change up the skins on my characters or I often forget to put camos on. I just don't care about cosmetics. However, just looking at this model, I feel like they are so incredibly out of touch with what they're doing and I find this model to be completely ridiculous. I honestly would have had no problem if they brought these cosmetic only supply drops in, but they also kept the tiers the same way as they were before. So after tier 100, you continue earning those reserves or better yet, something that I was really hoping to see when they announced that they would be bringing supply drops in is a daily and weekly challenge system. I would have been totally cool with the addition of these supply drops and the change of the tier system if that meant every single day I had a unique in-game challenge that I could complete to get one of these reserve cases. And then we'll just say every week we had a weekly challenge that allowed us to earn a set of two or three of the reserve crates. A system like that would have actually got me excited to play the game every single day and engaged in the game a lot more than I currently am. And yet they completely wasted that opportunity and added this system that actually takes away our ability to get cosmetic items unless we spend more money, which I'm simply not going to do. I think that is absolutely insane that they want us to spend more money on top of that for non-duplicate protected supply drops when free-to-play games like Apex Legends are doing a much better job of that where we don't have the big investment up front of the $60 game with the $50 season pass. And if we do decide to spend money on supply drops in that game, they're guaranteed to be duplicate protected. 
Call of Duty is falling so far behind in this area and they are so completely out of touch, it's obvious that the people that are making these decisions in corporate have no idea how video games actually work and how gamers actually work. And one of the biggest problems I've been having with Black Ops 4 up until this update is it hasn't been keeping me engaged. I've had no real incentive to play the game. They completely missed out on this opportunity to keep players engaged by adding daily and weekly challenges in addition to adding these reserve crates because I understand they're not making as much money as they anticipated with their microtransactions and therefore they had to ramp something up. So why not ramp that up with a system that will actually get people somewhat excited and keep them engaged in your game? Because if they're not engaged, if they're not continuing to play your game, how are you going to sell them anything down the road? Once again, this is just a clear case of them having no idea what they're doing over there, at least on the Activision side of things. This is just extremely frustrating, and I really feel like after the first few weeks of the honeymoon phase of this big update, I'm going to be in the same place I was a week or two ago, where I'm just going to be bored of the game and not wanting to play it anymore. And with that, that pretty much wraps it up for my thoughts on this current system. Again, we at least get all of the new weapons for free just by playing the game. That's great. But man, Activision is completely out of touch here and they are completely missing out on a major opportunity for extra player engagement, which would just help them so much in the long run. But of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what are you guys thinking about this supply drop system that they've added and the changes that they've made to their systems with this new update? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.